Do you want to know what it's like to pay off a policy loan? Well, by the end of this video, you will find out how this process works. My name is Carmen. And I'm Darius. For the best infinite banking and financial advice, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notifications bell to be notified when we post new videos. Recently, we paid off one of our policy loans. The very first question you may be asking is why pay off the loan in the first place? Because in all of our videos, we talk about moving money and making money. Well, under certain situations, you want to make sure you pay off the loan. And in our specific situation was we had too much money sitting inside of our savings account. The rule of thumb is to have three to six months of living expenses in your savings account for emergency purposes. Now, when you exceed that, then what? Well, that's one of the situations that we ran into where we had more cash on hand than we had use for, meaning that we weren't investing these funds or we weren't putting any of these funds to work for us. So in that situation, what we did is we took a lump sum of cash and we repaid our policy loan. Now, everyone's circumstance is going to be different. So again, this video is just for us to share our personal journey as far as why we paid off a policy loan. So again, just to reiterate what Darius was talking about, when we looked at our savings account, our living expenses were covered for the next six months. We also looked at the investments and the cash flow that we have going on. And right now with this extra lump sum of money, we didn't have a plan for it. So instead of the money just sitting in the bank, we decided, hey, right now it is costing us money to keep this loan outstanding. With this specific amount of money, we weren't flipping the money to make money. So in this case, we paid off the policy loan because it was costing us more than what we were making making. Mm -hmm. So in this specific situation, what we just want to do is put up on the screen so that you can see what the loan amount was. And then just a few weeks later, how the balance was reflected at zero, meaning that the loan was paid off and all was well. So like we said, all of the circumstances are different. Your specific situation may be different from ours. So your finances has to reflect your specific situation. There is no one size fits all. And that's the beauty about financial education and your financial journey is that everyone's situation is different and there are solutions for everyone. Right, the concepts are the same, but the solutions are different. So comment below and let us know why you may pay off a policy loan, either today or in the future. And also check out this video where we talk about when it may make sense for you to pay off a policy loan. Now let's get into the process of how you actually pay the insurance company their money back. Mm -hmm. And it's just as simple as making a payment to a bank or making a payment on a credit card or making a payment on a car note. You simply pick up the phone or you go online and you make the payment of the outstanding loan balance. Or for those of you who are paying the insurance company on a monthly basis, it works the exact same way. So how we did it, it was actually for one of my personal policies, is I literally just called the customer service 1-800 number and I pressed like option four for customer service. Mm -hmm. So I was forwarded to a rep and I just stated as simply as I want to pay off a policy loan. Mm -hmm. So they asked me how much and I said I wanted to pay it all off. So they calculated the numbers, made sure that everything was correct and then they just got my debit card information over the phone. Mm -hmm. So I paid it off that simply and within two business days that amount was reflected within my account. So like Darius said, it is that simple. It doesn't matter however you are paying your policy, depending on the insurance company, you can either call them, you can send in a check via mail, or you may be able to do this process online. So each company is different. The fact of the matter is, is just call that customer service number and figure out what your options are. Now, here's a quick recap. The problem for us was we had more cash than we had to use for. So instead of letting that cash sit inside of our savings account, which in a previous video we did, which we're gonna link here, we can't keep up with inflation by just having cash. That money has to be in motion. Now, because we didn't have a place to actually invest that money into at this specific time, what we did is we repaid the policy loan because if we're not using the money, we're still paying a simple interest every single year for the outstanding balance. So it made sense for us to make that loan repayment so that we can get that cash out of our possession and put it back into our insurance policy where we're still gonna to continue to earn the guaranteed interest. 
So the money that we still have in motion from our other policies, are we are still able to take advantage of the business opportunities that we are currently working with. Now, one thing I wanna clarify is when you pay off a policy loan, it does not affect the growth in the policy. Mm -hmm. Because remember, we got a loan from the insurance company. We use their pool of funds. We didn't pull from our actual policy. Mm -hmm. So we're literally just giving the insurance company their money back. But the best thing about this policy loan is it acts like a line of credit credit, you can watch this other video where we talk about <laughs> lines of credit, where when we pay off the loan, that balance is now available again for us to use. So it's just a matter of us signing a document to get those funds released back to us so that when another business opportunity or investment comes up, we have those funds available to invest. For those of you who are interested in working with us and creating a policy for your specific situation, then make sure you use the link below to apply to become our client. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And like we always say, own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will.